For tonight, that's our sport. Of course, the BBL coming up, Smith, though, and I love Angie. He is as dry as they get. Dry as a bit of sandpaper, so to speak. Thanks, Bruce. Well, with a new year upon us, many South Australians are setting themselves goals in pursuit of a healthier lifestyle. Celebrity coach Samantha Jackson has revealed some of the simplest tips to losing weight, having more energy and feeling your best in 2024. They're the 45-year-old identical twins who battled with an identical problem. I just reached probably rock bottom as far as like how we were feeling about mm, ourselves, yeah. or, didn't we? Yeah. And I just started thinking, I don't even know how I'm ever going to, like, how we were ever going to pull ourselves out of it. From fad diets to weight loss surgery, Nat and Mandy thought they'd tried it all. Trainer Samantha Jackson, who helped movie star Mel Gibson shed the kilos, put the twins on a program, eating five meals a day and exercising for 30 minutes. After eight weeks, each dropped seven kilos and gained energy. What they've lost between them is 77 centimetres. And if you're wondering what that looks like, it's that. That is how much they have lost off of their body measurements. That includes 13 centimetres each off their waists. I can't believe how much we eat. I, I yeah. still, t I just, even after like eight weeks, I still can't get through my head that we can eat five meals a day. Yeah. The secret, balancing blood sugar by eating a meal of protein, carbs and good fats every three hours. They've balanced their blood sugar. So eating their protein and their carbs together means that they're not getting the, the peaks and the drops during the day. Everything is really nice and balanced. Nat and Mandy also underwent a scan to look at the toxic fat around their organs. Anything above around 500 grams puts you at risk of disease like diabetes, cancer, heart disease and stroke. Your visceral adipose tissue, so that toxic belly fat that's sitting behind your abdominal wall, in your last scan was over 700 grams and now we're looking at 590. Yes! yes! Honestly, I feel like we're finally living our best life. Yeah, don't you reckon? Yeah, totally agree. Changing habits and changing lives. Chantel Tui, 7 News. Well, what a way to ring in the new year. After the break, we meet one of the first babies of 2024 and his proud parents. And weather-wise, we've got some humid and potentially... For Adelaide's latest news and more, tune in to 5AA Breakfast tomorrow morning. We have some serious breaking news, Justin, and a tsunami alert has just been issued in Japan after a major earthquake. It hit in the west of the country, measuring 7.6. A tsunami has been confirmed and residents are being urged to move to higher ground with fears the wave could reach as high as five metres. We'll certainly keep an eye on that. Now look at our weather and Casey joins us again from Aldinga Case. What's in store tomorrow? Mike, it'll be a little sunnier and even a little warmer tomorrow. So no doubt this coastal hotspot will be flooded with carloads of holiday makers yet again. Local businesses say today has been the first real busy day of the season with recent cooler temperatures keeping most tourists away from the water. In the city today, we reached a top just shy of 28 degrees. It's still around 25 now. And while it was warm around western facing coastlines, some southerly winds Produced another relatively cool day for southern facing coastal areas. Victor Harbour today reaching a top of just 20 degrees. And we've got two systems of low pressure either side of the state and they could deliver some wet and stormy conditions for both eastern and western border districts tomorrow. Then some unstable conditions here by the middle of the week. Interstate tomorrow, another very wet day is in store for Brisbane with up to 70 millimetres of rain. A top of 29 for Sydney. Showers developing and 26 for Melbourne. Back home, temperatures around the 40 plus degree mark across our northern areas. Mostly sunny and 36 for Port Augusta, 30 the top for Wyala, 38 for Renmark, 31 for Kadena and Murray Bridge. Still cooler about southern coasts with 24 for Port Lincoln, 23 for Victor Harbour. Showers possible about the southeast with a top of 27 for Mount Gambier. Strong winds are forecast about the following coastal areas and there is a severe heat wave warning for the northeast pastoral district. For the 
City down to 17, then warming up to a mostly sunny top of 30 degrees. On Metro Waters, south to southeasterly winds to 15 knots, turning southwesterly to 20 knots, seas increasing to one and a half metres. Now, there is a bit of uncertainty in the forecast ahead with some unstable air around. Grey skies returning on Wednesday, possible storm with a top of 27. A warm and windy day Thursday reaching 30, 31 Friday with storms a chance for the northern suburbs, 33 Saturday with showers and a possible storm on Sunday. And before I go, let's take a look at tonight's ray of sunshine. At 12.55 this morning, Barossa Valley parents Johnny and Veronica not only welcomed the new year, but also their baby boy Cole. Just hours late of his December 31st due date, the happy and healthy little one was one of the first babies born at the Women's and Children's for 2024. So I was asleep and I missed the New Year's countdown. Pretty lucky to have, yeah, a baby as one of the first babies to be born in the state. So due in 2023, but actually born in 2024, little Cole, certainly the perfect ray of sunshine to start the new year. Thanks, Case. That's all the news for now. I'll have updates throughout the evening. We're keeping our eye on the Japan tsunami. I'll see you again tomorrow night at six, but from all the Adelaide team for now, good night.